Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a travel get ready with me plus an outfit. Okay, so first off I'm going to start off with my hair. For my hair, I just like to slick it back into a ponytail. Nothing too crazy because I feel like plain hair isn't cute afterwards. So I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Sleek It Frizz, Frizz, Frizz Vanishing Cream, Vanisher Cream, whatever. I can't talk, but yeah, this is what I'm using, and I'm taking a, like a little black scrunchie, brush my hair first, and take a little bit of the cream. Update, I just got my stitches out, so, um, yeah, it hurt really bad. You, they say it's not supposed to hurt, but for some reason, my stitches, um, they were like, growing into my skin. The nurse said it was the hardest stitches she's ever had to get out. And yeah, I think she cut me while she was trying to get them out because she used scissors to get it out because the tweezers weren't working. And yeah, I think she cut me. So I feel like my, like I, I went back to the emergency room once I realized my wound was like open again. And she said it was fine, just put a bandaid on it. But like, it's freaking me out because I feel like it's like, stretching open the wound like slowly like across the whole part where I got stitches and it's kind of freaking me out I'm just gonna stay calm. I think it's okay. Hopefully I put some knees going on like a band blah, blah blah. Hopefully it's all better. Anyways I'm a worrier <laughs> Okay, so for my face, I'm using uh, The pomegranate balancing cream gel moisturizer. It's for oily combination oily combination skin and it's by chorus so yeah, I used my points at Sephora to get this. It's like a really cute travel size. I don't have a travel size moisturizer, so I thought I'd pick one up. And it doesn't really smell like pomegranates. It kind of smells more florally, but yeah. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. I don't go too crazy on my makeup when I travel, just cause like, it's not like a good feeling. Especially if you like to sleep on planes. Uh, I'm not sure if like anyone else, I'm pretty sure we other people get this probably. But like, do you ever like sleep in makeup? And then you wake up and you just feel like your makeup's like oily and just stuck on your skin and it feels tight. I don't know. It just it's a terrible feeling and that's why I hate wearing makeup on planes or when I even like take a nap or anything. Because it feels disgusting when I wake up. I'm going to be applying uh, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit and it's in six. I like to do my eyebrows because I don't really have eyebrows and it's just not cute. And I can't handle not having good eyebrows. I need to get them microbladed, but like, don't have the money for that. I sometimes deepen my eyebrows whenever I do them with like a full face of makeup. But if I'm not wearing that much makeup, I won't go too crazy because I don't want them to look too unnatural. So I just go in just a little bit. So I have the worst bags. Like not really bags, but just like dark circles. Like I just hate them. So we're going to cover those up. Just a little dot. And then also my eyelids because I have veiny eyelids. And I also get oily. So I'm going to fix those up too. And then if I see any other blemishes I have, I will also cover those up. I also like to do it on my nose. I don't know why. I just do. Next, I'm going to be setting it with this e.l.f. pressed powder. 
love this stuff. I used to use loose powder, but I feel like this is just less messy. I'm just setting my eyelids and everywhere that I put concealer. Oh, by the way, totally forgot to say the brand, but this is Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, so you can also use it as a foundation if you want. I just use it as concealer because it's a little thick for my liking as a foundation. So usually I won't wear mascara or anything else besides what I just showed you, but I guess since this is kind of like for like a tutorial, depending on how I'm feeling I might wear mascara, but usually I go on early morning flights, so like 6am or I'll have to wake up at like 4am to get there and you have plenty of time to get like all set up and get checked in. If I was going to wear mascara, which I probably will just because I like to feel put together and I makes me feel awake, but you know, depending on how I'm feeling, I might not. But I'm going to show you my, well, I've used this in other videos, but this is my favorite mascara right now. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. But first I'm going to curl my lashes, of course. Yeah, I just feel like going on earning, earning. I just feel like going on early morning flights is way better because then you get to your destination earlier and you have like more time in the day to do things. Also, you can fall asleep like straight away on the plane, and then the time will go by really fast. But yeah, also, you know, I told you I don't like to wear lots of mess like makeup on the plane. Cause it makes me like all nasty so like as soon as I check in from the hotel like to the hotel I will um take off all my makeup wash my face and then reapply like a full face probably just because I don't know it's just the way I am <laughs> I need to feel refreshed depending on how I'm feeling I will apply a chapstick or if I'm feeling a little extra um, I got this new lip oil kind of thing. It's by Tarte. It's new. Uh, it's in the shade blush. Or blush. It's in the shade uh, buff. It's like this really pretty, like, like a lip gloss kind of oil. I don't know if you can see that. But it's really nice on. It feels good. I don't like lip glosses because they feel so, like, sticky and chat and, like, Lipsticks that get so like crumbly on my lips because my lips get really dry So I feel like this is perfect for anyone who is really picky about that kind of stuff uh, It's really comfortable and moisturizing in it has like a tingly minty feeling Just so you know that in case you're like not a fan of that Yeah, it's like a really nice nude color. This isn't the nude one. There was like one called nude, but I don't know. It just looked too pinky, and I don't like pinky nudes. I wanted like a brown nude, and I think this one is perfect. So yeah, now I'm gonna set my face. And our makeup and hair is done. I will show you what I wear on a plane. Probably like a big hoodie, but I might actually wear a big t-shirt, like a big um, like button-up or something. I like to usually wear um, some like comfy, like not jean shorts, but like soft like shorts. I don't know how to explain it. Like gym shorts or something, but like short. <laughs> and then I'll wear a button-up black shirt. I'll actually insert a picture of what I'd wear. It's in the laundry right now, so I don't want to dig it up because... um. Last night I had it on the floor because I was just like not feeling it so I didn't put my laundry away and I found a bug on it so I threw it in the laundry. I was like, nope, <laughs> I hate bugs so I was not going to put that back on without washing it first. I'm so extra, but yeah. Also when I travel to go with my outfit, I will also take a little backpack purse. This one is by Calvin Klein. It's amazing, has lots of room. Just like a big bag to keep all my stuff in is like the perfect essential to have when you go traveling. Of the summer.